Thank you for tuning in in another uh, recording of uh, Modern Endpoint Management with Citrix Endpoint Management. And uh, today we have a quick uh, demo on how to configure Microsoft Outlook by Citrix Endpoint Management by using the app config policy and uh, using the ADMX files. For those who don't know what ADMX files is, ADMX files are uh, uh, configuration files in uh, XML format that can be used to configure the operating system or the applications on the operating system. So uh, at current day, uh, Sam only is able to uh, configure Win32 apps by the app config policy, uh, but you can use custom CSPs which we also have a, a policy for in a, in, a, in a GUI to do additional operating system um, configurations or other uh, configurations you will want. There's a massive list on uh, on the CSP page from Microsoft uh, which operating system versions you uh, uh, or operating system configurations you can do by ADMX ingestion. So. Uh, Another thing, if you use ADMAX uh, files in a, in a modern endpoint management or UEM uh, form, then uh, your configurations configured in the ADMAX uh, files will be directly um, ingested into the registry. And I will show you later on where you can find it in the res re registry so that also when you want to troubleshoot or want to see which configurations in, are, are pushed, uh, you can check that in the in the registry, and uh, you can see if the endpoint has received uh, the configurations you provided correctly. Um, another thing that's uh, that's nice to have is uh, uh, the Microsoft uh, Analyzer tool uh, or, or the Connectivity Analyzer. Uh, with that, you can uh, check a lot of configuration settings like. Uh, Exchange Active Sync, Exchange Active Sync Auto Discovery, uh, the Outlook Auto Discovery settings, inbound and outbound SMTP. It's a very nifty tool just to check if your Exchange organization uh, works uh, works correctly. And um, with modern endpoint management and endpoints not being connected to uh, uh, to the domain uh, and users trying to use Outlook, uh, Auto Discovery is a nice uh, tool to have. Uh, uh, configured so that uh, the, the interaction for the for the user to configure Outlook uh, is a minimum. Then in combination with the ADMX files where you can do the, the company uh, security settings or pre-configuration uh, is, uh, is a great uh, asset. Um, so what do you need more? Of course you need the administrative templates. You can download it in the link. Uh, if you want to know more about the app config policy, you can check that at uh, our Citrix uh, endpoint management docs for uh, for more information. So let's skip to some information and demos. So as you can see, here's the Microsoft Analyzer tool. And this is my lab environment. And you see that the auto discovery is configured. The DNS are resolved. Uh, my port is open, my SSL certificate is correct, my IIS configuration is uh, good, and the post is also uh, uh, successful. So on my side, uh, the auto discovery is working on the external side. Uh, okay. So if you downloaded uh, the administrative templates, make sure that you have uh, the location where they are installed. And um, initially, uh, you will have uh, nothing in your console. I have uh, already a lot of uh, Windows 10 configurations in there with custom CSPs. Also already put in some Outlook uh, configurations um, just to make sure that, uh, that you can see them. But I will show you how you initially do, do it when you don't have any uh, configuration already set. So you go to the config device policies, uh, select the Windows tab if you want to filter on only Windows 10 policies, and you select the app config configuration. Just give it a name you want. Uh, we will delete this later, so uh, I will just put something in. And you have the Windows desktop and tablet uh, app configuration app configuration policy setting. Select the Windows 32 apps, and you see that you get a browse option to uh, 
to upload the ADMX files. So let's see, I have my office ADMX files located here and I will use the Outlook as we're gonna demo that later on. You see it will upload it and nothing happens here. So what you need to do is you need to click the add button here. And if you cl click the add button, uh, you wet, will get the first rule there. And within that rule, you can scroll down and see all the options there. You can compare those very easily just by opening your group policy editor uh, and copy, of course, uh, uh, your ADMX files to the correct uh, uh, location so you can compare them much easily. Um, if there are on and off settings in there, yeah, it would show as an on and off button. So let's leave this one for a second. So we go to the policies that I already have configured. Uh, and they will be called Outlook. So I use the filter here to make a quick overview. So what I did, I did uh, some calendar configuration. I did some restrictions on PST files and I did some restrictions on the account. Uh, uh, of, of, of the user and just for a uh, for an example that you uh, could use in your organization but that the choice is up to you so what I did here I said the work week uh, uh, is for enabled and that's uh, well, the length of the work week is Monday to Friday uh, I what's the first day of the uh, of the week that's uh, Monday uh, what's the starting time and uh, closing time so you get that nice uh, overview of uh, uh, of sections in uh, in your calendar uh, eight to five and what did I do more uh, uh, some other preferences here so that's one policy that I did I uh, assigned them to my Windows 10 delivery group uh, which uh, my demo machine is connected to and that's uh, that's it um, so let's have a look at the other one the other one is PST files and uh, I will add that edit that also so you can see what I did here is uh, yeah you you cannot share uh, PST files so I restricted it so that you cannot um, uh, copy and paste information between your current exchange uh, mailbox that is on the mailbox server uh, which caches information in your OST, OST file and then you're not allowed to copy it into a, a PST file you create yourself. Uh, I defined the PST file location so that's uh, Outlook and uh, And I did uh, the same for the OST file. Um, and same here, attach it to a delivery group. And that's it. So let's have a look at the last one. And the last one is the account settings. You see it's already deployed to the machine. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So what this one is uh, the how many exchange accounts then set the maximum number of exchange uh, accounts so there's only one exchange account allowed uh, to uh, to outlook so the user cannot uh, do multiple and this is prevent copying between account IDs so you're not allowed to copy information so th th these are the things that I have uh, I have set uh, let's have a look at uh, the machine. So this is uh, the demo machine. Uh, I promise you to show you where the registry settings are. But let's first have a look on where you can see that the settings are pushed to the device. So you just go to the info section of uh, of your account. You see that it's managed by, by my Citrix cloud account and these us you see that the policy name that I gave it will reference uh, back in, uh, in the settings that are uh, pushed to the endpoint so you can see that the calendar options are set here 
uh, miscellaneous PST settings, account settings. Uh, oh, that's we had three policies, right? So those are three. So that's correct. So the machine received the policies. If you want to see them in the registry, open the registry editor and you will have, and I bookmarked it if I'm correct, the policy manager, you can find that at HK Local Machine, Software Microsoft Policy Manager. And uh, if you go to current, you have two options, device and the uh, SID ID. So this is basically the user settings and the device settings, just as you know within the group policy editor. And you will see all the information that's been set here. Um, so here you see the three Outlook settings that are pushed with the keys that are paired with them. So you see here, oh, I also enabled uh, the calendar week numbers. I'll show you. So so you can check very quickly if, uh, if the settings are uh, applied. So when a user enrolls his device, Office will de be deployed. The endpoint will be secured by Citrix endpoint management and uh, the user will initially start Outlook. And this is how it looks like. So the user clicks Outlook, Outlook starts, and this is the first time user set up. So we'll search for the account. You see that the user account is already populated here and I just click connect. So this is where the auto discovery comes in handy. So it sees that uh, I have an account, I select exchange and uh, it pops up for my password. I pop up my password. And that's basically it, what a user has to do. So it will load the profile, the OST file will be uh, used to cache uh, the settings and you will get a warning if it's correct. Here it is. That's uh, the local copy being set up, the OST file. Well, I don't have any licenses, so the product will not be activated, but I have some times to uh, to show you. Uh, so let's go to the calendar. You will see the first day of the week is Monday. Uh, you see that the week numbers are there. Uh, let me see if I can get a day overview. You see that the starting bar is at eight o'clock the work days you see that eight till five the white is the working day time window that I set uh, there so that all works nice uh, let me see if I receive email uh, we'll send an email from another system I should get my emails. There it is. So, yep, that works. Uh, that worked great. Notification work. That's uh, that's fine. So let's say, for example, I'm a naughty user, and I said, "Oh well, let's do add an extra account." I know my uh, my neighbor's account. So I will do, uh, I will add, uh, and I know his uh, password because he has a sticky note on it, screen. And he says, okay, exchange account because auto discovery works. 
and I know his password, so I should get an error message. And there it is. Something went wrong. The maximum number of Microsoft Exchange accounts had been added based on a policy set by an organization. So that's the, the number one that I set in the in the ADMX file. So I can only add one. So let's say I will add a PST file. So I go to account settings and I will do a new data file. Let's do add. And you'll see that the OST file is nicely created in the Outlook directory that I said. And then I will do a, a backup 2018. And I will copy and paste my uh, my data in there. So I said, okay, back up and close. And I will uh, create a new folder here. And I say uh, inbox. And I will move that file there. And you see that it will track that. Right, and that all that information is tracked now. So that's uh, that's good to see. Um, so that's basically how Outlook is set up automatically with, uh, with Citrix and Point Management. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, See you the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.